let me tell you, this woman is the number one argument for pro-choice. She <laughs> is the second worst mother in history. Please welcome Clara Hitler, everybody! <laughs> finally killed them all. <laughs> In the fifth grade, uh, 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 he had a science project and he made this um, final solution. <laughs> well, I didn't understand it either. <laughs> But when he explained it to me, I realized it's something everyone can use. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> I remember, I remember, uh, like it was yesterday, when you walked in on your father and I having the Schrupen target. <laughs> and the look on your face. As he beats you within an inch of your life. God! 
then we were happy. <laughs> I remember one Christmas, we were Christian, you know. <laughs> and all he wanted for Christmas was his cute little arts and crafts set. And his father said, oh, that's so good. He says, Papa, please, all he want to do is use it to make soap. <laughs> And it was Christmas Eve, and the only toy store in town was owned by a Jewish man. Jewish Dean, or Jew, or yes, or Jew. Berg, filthy, filthy. And he closed, he closed his store early uh, for the Jewish holiday, for the Hanukkah. <laughs> And what could we tell him? We had to think of something because Adolf knew that Santa was real and the art and craft set was coming from Santa this year and he knew Santa was real. We couldn't disappoint him. He knew Santa was real because my brother, his uncle Hans, the year before had dressed up like the Santa <laughs> and raped him. <laughs> Santa is dead, and the Jews killed him. <laughs> and I don't think he ever quite got over that. <laughs> Thank you everyone very much. <laughs> Thank you very much.